Obsidian is often referred to as the second brain app. At first glance, its interface might seem overwhelming, but there is a huge potential hidden beneath. On the other hand, SimpleNote is a clean, no-frills note-taking app that lets you capture ideas quickly and sync effortlessly across all your devices. However, if you were to choose between either of these, which one would you go for? Let's find out. Starting with Obsidian, the interface might seem a little plain at first glance, but that's intentional. It's a blank canvas for you to create your own system. Setting up your first vault, the folder where all your notes live, is the first step. Once that's done, you're free to get in. Obsidian focuses heavily on text-based organization, but what makes it stand out is its unique ability to link notes. For example, while writing about a book, you could connect your notes about the author, themes, and quotes to a web-like network. The interface takes some getting used to, but once you're comfortable, it feels like your personal brain organizer. On the flip side, SimpleNote is the definition of simplicity. Its interface is clean and minimal, designed to get you writing instantly. You open the app, and you're ready to jot down your thoughts. There are no vaults and no setup steps, just a list of your notes on one side and the content on the other. If you're someone who gets overwhelmed by too many options, SimpleNote is like a breath of fresh air. It keeps distractions to a minimum, which makes it ideal for quick, focused note-taking. Switching between the two, it becomes clear how different their approaches are. While Obsidian's interface caters to those who enjoy customization and control, SimpleNote builds on simplicity. When it comes to features, Obsidian and SimpleNote cater to vastly different needs. Each app has its own strengths, but let's compare them side by side to see how they stand against each other. Obsidian is a perfect tool for those who crave detailed organization. Its system of vaults, folders, and backlinks creates a dynamic way to store and connect information. For example, researchers can create separate vaults for projects and link notes together, building a helpful personal knowledge base. It also supports nested folders, which lets you organize notes in layers. Tags and filters add another level of control and help you categorize and quickly retrieve information. SimpleNote, on the other hand, keeps things simple with a flat structure. It uses tags to categorize notes, which is quick and effective for basic organization. For instance, tagging notes as work or personal lets you filter them later. However, without folders or linking, it's harder to handle large or complex sets of notes. Obsidian excels here with its multi-layered organizational tools, but SimpleNote simplicity is perfect for quick and straightforward note-taking. Obsidian's customization is nearly limitless. You can install plugins to transform it into a task manager, journal, or even a study tool. It also supports custom themes, which allow users to tweak colors, layouts, and overall aesthetics to match their preferences. For example, students might install plugins for flashcards or timelines, while developers can use code snippet support to document projects. SimpleNote offers almost no customization, sticking to its minimalist design. This works well for users who prefer not to tweak their tools, but feels restrictive for those who want flexibility. The customization options make Obsidian a favorite for those who want their tools to adapt to their needs, while SimpleNote keeps things uniform and distraction-free. Obsidian has a stable search engine that allows for deep exploration within your vaults. You can search using keywords, apply filters, or jump to notes with the quick switcher. For example, if you're working on multiple articles and need to find all mentions of a particular keyword, Obsidian delivers results quickly and accurately. SimpleNote keeps it simple with a basic search bar that helps you locate notes by keywords or tags. While it works for smaller note collections, it lacks advanced options like filters or hierarchical navigation. If you need advanced search tools, Obsidian is the clear winner. But for smaller, straightforward note collections, SimpleNote gets the job done efficiently. SimpleNote shines in this category with its free automatic syncing across devices. Your notes are available anytime, whether you're on your phone, tablet, or computer. This makes it ideal for users who need their notes on the go. Obsidian, by default, is a local-first app, which means your notes are stored on your device. To sync across devices, you'll need to pay for Obsidian Sync or set up a third-party service like Google Drive or Dropbox. While this gives you more control over your data, it adds extra steps compared to SimpleNote's effortless syncing. SimpleNote leads with simplicity and accessibility, while Obsidian prioritizes control and privacy.
SimpleNote offers straightforward collaboration. You can invite others to edit notes or generate public links for sharing. This is perfect for team projects or quick sharing with friends. Obsidian doesn't support real-time collaboration. Its focus is on individual workflows, which makes it less suitable for shared projects. While you can manually share notes by exporting them, it's not as efficient as SimpleNote. For collaboration, SimpleNote is the better choice. Obsidian is geared toward personal use. Both apps support Markdown, a lightweight formatting language, but their approaches differ. Obsidian fully integrates Markdown with live preview and rich editing tools. For example, you can use it to format text, create tables, or even add inline code, all within your notes. This is particularly useful for users who want precise control over formatting. SimpleNote also supports Markdown, but it's more basic. You'll need to toggle between editing and preview modes to see your formatting, which can interrupt the workflow. Obsidian's advanced markdown features make it a more flexible tool for users who rely on formatting, while SimpleNote's simple implementation keeps things beginner-friendly. Obsidian is designed to work entirely offline. Since your notes are stored locally, you can access and edit them without an internet connection. This makes it a great choice for users who need their notes in remote locations or prefer offline privacy. SimpleNote supports offline editing as well, but with limitations. The web version requires an internet connection, whereas the desktop and mobile apps allow offline access. However, SimpleNote's features remain basic regardless of connectivity. For users who value a fully offline experience, Obsidian provides more flexibility. SimpleNote's offline support is adequate for most use cases, but lacks the same depth. All right, Obsidian allows users to attach images, videos, and other media to notes. This feature is invaluable for researchers, designers, or anyone who needs to reference visual materials alongside text. You can even embed PDFs and link them to specific notes. SimpleNote doesn't support attachments. It's strictly focused on text, which keeps it lightweight, but limits its functionality for multimedia-heavy projects. If you need a versatile tool for both text and media, Obsidian stands out. SimpleNote is better suited for those who work exclusively with text. Obsidian prioritizes data privacy. Since all notes are stored locally by default, you have full control over your data. Even with Obsidian Sync, end-to-end -end encryption ensures your information is secure. SimpleNote encrypts your notes during syncing, but stores them unencrypted on its servers. While adequate for everyday notes, this might not meet the standards of users handling sensitive information. For privacy-conscious users, Obsidian's local-first approach and encryption make it the superior choice. Obsidian integrates well with third-party tools and platforms. You can export your notes in various formats, use external editors, or sync with cloud services like Dropbox. This makes it versatile for users who rely on multiple tools for their workflows. SimpleNote keeps integration minimal. You can export notes as text files or use its basic web app but it doesn't offer advanced integration options. Obsidian's flexibility makes it a better fit for advanced users, while SimpleNote remains ideal for those who need a standalone solution. Obsidian's mobile app stands out because it mirrors the full desktop experience. Whether you're using an Android or iOS device, the app supports plugins, linking, graph view, and markdown, all smoothly integrated. For instance, a student can draft notes on their phone during a lecture and later link them into their broader knowledge base on their desktop. The customization and feature set remain consistent, making it a powerful tool even on smaller screens. SimpleNote's mobile app is designed with simplicity in mind. It's lightweight, quick, and perfect for jotting down ideas on the go. The interface remains intuitive, showing a list of notes on one side and the editor on the other. It syncs effortlessly with other devices, so you can start a note on your phone and finish it on your laptop. However, advanced users might find the lack of features, such as linking or plugins, limiting for more complex workflows. Here, Obsidian excels for users who want full functionality on mobile, while SimpleNote appeals to those seeking a simple, efficient app for quick notes on the move. Everything considered, Obsidian is ideal for users who love customizing their tools, handling large projects, or exploring connections between ideas. Researchers, writers, and savvy users will likely find it invaluable. SimpleNote is perfect for those who need a simple, free, and reliable app for basic note-taking. If you value ease of use over features, it's a no-brainer.